Let's talk about some of the complexities of box remapping in the Mio console. So we have a couple of usage case scenarios to go over here. Uh, the first is you've got a studio and you've got two uh, Mios, say a ULN2 or a 2LA2. It doesn't really matter, but there's different serial numbers. We'll call them box A and box B. So you've done some work on box A and box B in your studio, and you're coming home to a third Mio. So different serial numbers. So this is going to be box C. Now, when you launch the console, let's say you've, so again, you've saved a state in A and B. Maybe they're two master configurations. And you go home to open up a new Mio. What's going to happen is this when you launch the console state. It's going to give you the box remapping dialog. So basically what it's saying is since none of the Mios match, like you've got two at the office and one at home, and none of them are the same serial number. So Mio console is not going to assume any kind of box mapping for you. It's going to ask you where you want box A and box B mapped to. And in this case, we have a single Mio at this point. So it's going to ask you, we've got you know serial number 233 available here. So do you want box A to map to that guy, or do you want box B? So let's just say that you want this first console to map over to 233. We press OK. And when it goes ahead and does it, it maps and remaps those consoles to the available box. And the second box that you don't have available right now, because it's at the studio, it'll show as an offline box. So that's the one case of, of trying to remap this. So what happens if you change your mind? and you decide that you actually chose the wrong configuration. The problem with the boot states is that they're persistent, meaning that if I go ahead and quit the console, come back in, and reload this configuration, it's going to keep mapping because inside the console it's going to remember. So here's how I can get around that. Okay, If you actually control click or right click on the tab here, we have some menu choices here. Because what's happening now is that this offline box is part of this mixer configuration. And you want to actually forget this uh, offline box and then delete it from the mixer. By doing that, it takes it out of the mixer configuration here, just leaving a single box. Now when I quit and come back in, and I reload the save state, I'm going to get the dialog box here and I can say, oh, okay, this is the box I actually wanted to route to the new box. And all is well in the world. Okay. So that's what happens when you have two different Mios at the office and one at home. So what happens in the case of you've got two Mios at the office and you take one of those Mios home with you. So that's box A and B at the office or studio and box A at home. Now, the way the state works is that if it can find A on both sides, so A at home and A at the office, it's going to go ahead and automatically wrap, uh, reroute A to A. So by clicking on this one, we'll call box A, to, a and B to A. It automatically reroutes A. Doesn't have the pop-up dialog for you because it finds A on both sides. The other box is listed as the offline box. That's what you expect. Now here's another scenario, kind of a, a similar thing. You've got box A, B, and C. You've got three 2 at eight twos at work, and you come home to a ULN2, which is kind of a mastering box. Now in this scenario, what do we expect to happen? Is it going to remap one of those boxes automatically, or is it going to go and give us the pop-up dialog? Well, it'll give us the pop-up dialog again. The Mio console is only going to map the same box to the same box. So only if you have an A on both sides. A at work and you travel it to home or vice versa. If you have three different boxes, three different serial numbers, and you come home with a different serial number, you wouldn't want the Mio to automatically assume that you want any single box mapped to that box. You want it to ask you every single time. So now we double click the file. Here's what's going to happen. We get the box remapping dialog, okay? And at that point, you can go ahead and map your boxes to wherever you want to. So you've got the three offline boxes and you have your one online box. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here and go to OK. And it goes ahead and maps that one box to, to the serial number that's present, which is in this case is 233. And the offline boxes, they're saved, they're just not accessible and available to you right now. Here's a last kind of a tricky scenario here. Uh, let's go back to the A, B, into A scenario. We have two Mios at work, and you bring one home. And automatically the Mio console, when it has the same box, is going to automatically map that box as the same. So A will go to A no matter what you do. But what happens if you load this state and you go, hmm, actually I really wanted B to show up. Now right now with the automatic loading mechanism, it's going to keep mapping A to A. So here's how we can get around this. Okay, With the console up, we're actually going to unplug the power from uh, box A. Okay, it's out. And it'll reflect that in the state here because it's an offline ULN2. Now if I control click it, okay, and go to forget this offline box and delete it from the mixer. 
I've now taken it out of the state. Okay. So when I actually relaunch the console, so I'm going to have to quit the console and then power back up the ULN tube. What's going to happen is since A is out of the state at this point, it'll automatically remap to B. So I'm going to quit this, plug the power back in. And now when I relaunch the console, it comes up and it's now mapped. Uh, the B state over to box A. Now the reason that this is happening automatically is because we have um, we have our configuration set to load the last state upon launch and that's something that you actually can do uh, here at the choose configuration template. So it's here saying that on app launch load the last state. Now um, if that wasn't set simply you could just have gone to file save as and you could have saved that mixer configuration at that point called B to A and then reloaded it as we have here. So again, if you do A to B to A, so ULN2 and 2882 at work and you bring the ULN2 home, it will automatically map that ULN2 every single time. If you really want to access the other configuration, the B configuration, in that case the 2882, all you got to do is unplug the power, forget the box, get out of the mixer configuration, quit the console, put the power back on and come back in. Alright, that's your last of the complex box remapping.